okay, I just bought the L'Oreal Steam Club 3.0. So I thought, why not straighten my hair? But we're gonna add something else on top of that. We're going to straighten it with the L'Oreal Steam Pot, and we're also going to use the Rev Air to blow it out first, um, thus creating the most efficient, hopefully, we'll see, but um, uh, least heat damaging hair straightening silk press, I guess. I don't know if it's called a silk press, but a straightening job. Um, so the cool thing with this guy, why I've been obsessed with it, is that um, it uses steam to infuse moisture into the hair. So compared to other straighteners, where you're using high heat to change the texture from whatever it is to silky straight, um, the heat used, it draws out the moisture from the hair strands. And I think I, I read somewhere that 3% of our hair strands uh, is water. Just 3%. So that's why it's so important to moisturize before you straighten your hair all the time if you wear curly hair. Um, but definitely I used to straighten my hair and not deep condition first, which was a huge mistake because then you flat iron it and you haven't put extra moisture in to protect the moisture that's already there when you flat iron so you get this dry hair breakage split ends that whole thing heat damage too you can get um so yeah this thing puts the moisture in uh while flat iron so like the heat the heated place would be taking that out but then the moisture is uh, the steam is just like infusing it back in so you end up from what I've seen on videos with really bouncy healthy shiny soft hair I hear so many girls saying oh my god it's so soft so I tested it out on my wig but it's already like Indian hair from RPG show that'll be another video I'll review my RPG show wigs I bought from the clearance sale um, but yeah, it worked pretty sweet. So I'm super duper excited. Apparently they have, this is the third model. The earlier models, you used to have the straightener with the, um, uh, water compartment, uh, separately attached. And it had like a little, little cord that the water would come out. But this one now has a, uh, that's, a, that's what it looks like. It has the water compartment attached to the device, which is super convenient. Uh, another note, um, you have to have water that won't cause lime scale to use with this product. So I went to, I'm from Canada, I went to a grocery store called IGA and I bought this massive bottle for like four bucks, I think, of distilled water. So that should be safe to use in it super excited and then um yeah the rev air i've used um with my curly hair with my natural curly hair um yeah this is my natural curly hair but i got a keratin treatment as uh, my second one i've ever gotten it's a 500 hundred dollar treatment but um i'm an actor and uh well it's one of my jobs and um it's kind of hard dealing with my natural crazy, like these curls are looser and it's like silkier, but my natural curls are like really ringlety and they just spring up. It's really cute hair, I love it. But I wanted some, I wanted my hair to look longer. I wanted it to be easier um, to transition between straight to curly if needed. And I, I was tired of getting on set and just having this frizz and then the stylists come and they're like putting water and serums and hair they're just trying to get rid of the frizz the only way they know how and um it's just frustrating to watch them struggle and i i, kn I know that's not gonna work right the only thing that'll work is to rewash my hair and have a fresh wash and go but it's impossible to do that when it takes me hours and hours to do it and i air dry my hair so it, and it's unpredictable you never know what your hair is gonna turn out like right so with this keratin treatment I know what I'm getting every day with my hair and the cool thing is if my hair gets frizzy I just wet it completely drench it put some new product and it looks like a brand new wash and go this 
actually is eight days later. I washed it last Saturday. It's or seven days, eight days. Yeah, it's Sunday now. I've gone to the gym five times. I work out a lot, like hardcore sweating. So yeah, this is pretty good for eight days. <laughs> I love keratin treatments. The company that does it is Suzanne. I don't know if you can read that. They have it in America and Canada. If you can get on to one of these treatments and your hair is a little unruly, I highly recommend it's for all hair textures, all hair textures but just makes your hair so much easier and quicker to style. The only downside is that you need very specific products. You have to make sure your shampoos have no um, sulfates, which I'm already sulfate free, curly girl. And uh, I follow the curly girl method. And um, it doesn't have silicones either, which is awesome. This comes with silk amino acids and keratin and the ingredients are amazing, but be careful which company you buy it from because some of them have the older formulation and it's horrible it's absolutely horrible it has like sodium chloride in it which you're not supposed to have in keratin and i'm pretty sure it has some sort of sulfate i remember um so i'm gonna wash my hair with that and then i found this company online when i was looking for alternate keratin shampoos to use which is like the struggle is real um i i found this uh referral off of bianca renee's youtube channel so i ordered it um i order products from the us that don't ship to canada i use the my us account and get it shipped to my address there and then they ship it out here separately um their shampoo the shampoo that she makes this is a very small boutique company um it's so nice but it won't work on my keratin hair because it has some ingredients that will it, that will strip it and I tried it out last time and my keratin washed out pretty, it was washing out a lot faster. Um, so, uh, the ingredients are amazing in the deep conditioner though. I'm obsessed with it. Um, it's got like shea butter, coconut oil, aloe, mango seed butter, cocoa seed butter, panthenol, honey, vanilla extract, chamomile extract, green tea extract, rosemary extract, horsetail extract, uh, Bunch of oils, argan oil, jojoba, vanilla, fruit oil, peppermint, vitamin E, like this thing. It's so clean and so gourmet. I love it. I'm obsessed. So we're going to wash. We're going to deep condition with these. So you're supposed to use the Red Bear with damp hair. And you're not supposed to use any, um, what's it called? Pure oils. Um, you can use oils that are diluted down with other ingredients but straight oils will get sucked in and destroy your machine so i'm going to use the Cezanne perfector spray i'm just going to look in the mirror and i just kind of spray that all throughout it's a light product so i can just give her this stuff is silicone free it's a blowout cream by briogeo i went out on a one day and tried it out um bought it from sephora and my blow was glorious so i'm just gonna put about that much on to this side <laughs> you thought that was for my whole head i got this cute little rubber stand i highly recommend you buy it with the tool because i mean this thing's pretty big i have it sitting on my bed right here and uh when you're using it and then you gotta take it out and do other things it's just like so convenient to just hook it in to this little stand over there so i brush make sure you brush out the uh, knots it's a pretty decent section right there okay and we're gonna take this it's plugged in power button on top and we're gonna put it on, let's go six. Let's turn it on. Oh, one more thing I gotta show you, sorry. Um, down here, make sure it's locked. There's a lock to on and off. And filter looks clean. That's good. Um, 
so here you've got the high power, low power, and, uh, or sorry, <laughs> high heat, low heat, and that's just air. So if you turn it on and it's just on that part, it'll just be like room temperature air. And then uh, I tend to do, for blowouts, I do high heat. Like I said, the highest heat is 80 degrees Celsius, which is nothing. And we have a lot of protection in my hair. So let's just give her. Again, like if I did smaller sections, I guarantee you it, I could get it a lot straighter. <laughs> but it's so soft, it's got a lot of volume, doesn't smell fried. Oh, I know that smell. Um, yeah, it's awesome, it's shiny, it's great. Um, so you could take hair from this state and do like curl formers or those wave makers. Um, you could get the, uh, what are those things called? <laughs> the wand curlers and do a like voluminous wand curler look. Uh, we're gonna flat iron just so I can show you the L'Oreal. Well, I'm pretty obsessed with seeing how it works too. Um, but the Rever, other than the size, which is fine by me, I have room in my apartment to put it, so it doesn't bother me. Um, it's freaking awesome. It's super easy to use. You don't get hot like you do with other blow dryers. The heat's inside, and it's lower heat than usual, but it's still hot. So sometimes when you put it, like, up here and you really push it in the skin, you can feel a bit of heat around the surface, but not really. <laughs> 
and it doesn't hurt or anything. It's not like, ah, oh, like with other dryers and up here, you definitely can't feel it. I don't know what angle I'm doing, but yeah, I start with the ends about 15, 20 seconds and then I move up to the top and about 10 seconds in, I'll start swirling it around, trying to get it to suck like the top, the sides and all that good stuff. Um, yeah, because if you don't do that, your your roots are going to be they're gonna be a hot mess. So, the label and everything, it's got this detachable comb you can put in or take out, which is freaking genius. Um, because instead of having to do the chase method, this does it for you. Um, you'll notice on the steam pot, it has little arrows. These mean... You have to use that hand to do that. And to do this side, you gotta switch, but the arrows always have to be facing down. I guess like this will, cause this will um, detangle the hair as you go down and the steam goes in first before the ceramic plates and they're floating. Look at it. I love when straighteners do that little floating bouncy thing. But it's like a, it's pretty big, but my bioionic straightener the one pass, 1.5 inch is, I feel like it's the same size. Maybe not as fat this way, but it's beautiful. The water tank is filled. This thing is detachable. And then you get a tiny little cute little bottle. You can fill with water and you open this thing and squirt the water in. But um, there's a max fill line. Make sure you don't go past that. So you just click it in, boom, like that. I got my little heat resistant pad for my Dyson. So I'm gonna put that there when I need to strain it. Um, actually, we're gonna turn it on. So it's on. The temperatures are 350, 390, and 410 degrees Fahrenheit. You can already hear it. I don't know if you can, but that's the steam. At first I was like, I don't see steam coming out. Oh no. Oh, can you see the steam coming out? Wow. Well, I didn't see steam before, so I put it against my mirror. You know when you're like, oh, you see the steam or fog? And it actually worked. Oh, it sounds so cool. It's, it's, it smells like a clothing steamer. So, let's do this uh so i'm going to put in a heat protectant serum oil i love olaplex this thing was what, 40 bucks but the hole's so tiny so when you squirt it out not enough not enough not a lot comes out let's put five and um it's very light oil it doesn't weigh your hair down or anything so we go like that Focus mostly on the ends. Look at that, you put it in and it's so shiny. It's a little heat protectant oil. Looks like I'm being so rough with my hair, but I swear I'm not. A little heat protectant oil, never hurt nobody. Uh, and ooh, smells great so we're gonna take a because this is a very fat flat iron we gotta make sure the sections we take well first of all let's just mess around with that little curly piece these guys I don't even know why they're there Let's just get that out of the way. Okay. So we're going to take pieces that are not that big, that are wider, but like more like wide this way but not thick in this way 
so that the flat iron, because the flat iron is quite wide, it can get that all, but because it has such like fat um, sides, like it's not gonna get close to the roots unless you do thin pieces that way, but you can do them long that way. So, where's that piece? Oh God, did I? <gasps> I'm sorry guys. So we're gonna take that piece. Mm, too big. Take that piece, and we're gonna try it out. That's a pretty big piece too. And slowly take it down. Apparently, it's supposed to be a one pass flat iron, so. straight this gets. Oh, oh my god. It is so soft. Oh, that's wow. Okay. Okay. I see you. I see you. Mm, okay. Let's keep it going. That's a three. That's at 390, was it? When I used my Bioionic, I think it was only, yeah, 380 or something crazy like that. Um, Let's do another nice big chunk. Let's see how this goes. that is that is 390 only it's it feels so soft <laughs> like it feels silky but not like that really thin silky feeling you get it feels like it still has like body in it but it's really freaking soft you know what for fun's sake let's take it up to 410 that's only 20 degrees higher. And I just have to say, these are pretty big sections I'm doing. I love, how big are these plates? These are only one inch plates too, but you know what? The comb thing really holds the hair in place, which is amazing. Mm -hmm. Multitasking. Yeah, let's, okay. So we're at 410 now.
it got all the roots um i slicked on my edges with some gel i can show you the back Well, this is the side, this is the back. The cool thing about this straightener is that because it infuses the moisture instead of frying it out like other flat irons do, um, when you go out into um, moist or humid air, say it just rained and the air is out there, your your hair is not thirsty for the moisture, so it's not trying to suck in the moisture from the air, and that's when your hair starts going frizzy again. Like it it should stay straight. That's what all the reviews say. So um, it's supposed to rain this week. I'm gonna see how my hair holds out. I can give you a little update on that, but you know what though? I'm not gonna lie. I'm not one to wear my hair really straight. So we're gonna try curling the hair. Uh, let's see like that. Oh! <gasps> Styled with the L'Oreal Steam Pod. Okay. 